you're saying an identical vehicle matching this exact description just committed a crime and coincidentally you're you're driving the same car i mean this is my car mm -hmm. I wasn't using any crime as with it well you, you you can ask the guy who was doing sanitation was waiting for him you can you can ask him i was with him hmm. something just ain't adding up I mean, I'm, I'm mm. telling you, this, this wasn't used in a crime. There's, there's a lot of people who have this car. A... I just who the- I've mm. never seen this car before in my life. Who the hell has camouflage Humvees from wars? Um, I let it, uh, Not I mean, one person. But some but military, no, there, there's more than one so people. You just, still, you, just gotta, you just gotta look. Um, definitely more than one people. Mm. Could you do me a favor? Could you step back in the vehicle? Step back in the vehicle? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I cannot see you with the tinted windows. I mean, I can, I can see you with the windows. It's not, not a problem. Okay, all right. Uh, back into the sidewalk, please. I just wanted to yeah. verify here. All right, you have some ID with you? Uh, yeah, I do. I do. Let me go ahead and see that. How's the stop going up there? There you go. Here we are. All right, Mr. Hung. I do me a favor, sit tight. I'm gonna go back to my vehicle where information will yeah, be back yeah. with you so shortly. Through, bro. They're coming yeah. for me for a tow. Uh, dispatch 130, be advised. Although this matches pretty much the exact description, um, I do not feel comfortable pushing anything on the basis that I don't have a plate. However, what I do have is uh, a tent violation, so I'm impounding it. Silver car won't move, so I'm totally impounding his car. Also, I mean, I've had no cases it. with tinted windows. I've been I've been pulled over multiple times, and just it's not one time having a case with tinted windows. So if it's if it's a problem, I'll... Uh, I I can I can go I can go change it. It's something that I didn't know. No, no officer has told well no officer has told me that about the tinted windows when I'd be pulled over. Like silver car, bro. Wait. How is it I mean, written? I yesterday, I think I got pulled over. No, it wasn't today. Today was the first time. But I've, I've had this car for a while, so I'm not... And this window's been tinted the way it is. Not, not one officer has told me that I've been pulled over. Like, no, no officer told me. So if it's an issue, I'll go change it right now. Not a problem. But this, this, this car was not used in any crime. Now you're making me get all serious, okay? Yeah, I'm sure. So here's the deal. I hate that it keeps scrolling. At this point, I've tried to do everything my power to help you. They yeah, what's told me, but now I'm feeling like you're lying to me, bro. Room. Now I feel like you're totally bogus and lying. So here's the deal. Either move your car, which is operable. Yeah. Or don't move it and we yeah. tow it. But like, those are your two options. And if you don't pick one, then I got to pull you out of the car physically. Oh, I'm, so I'm waiting for those thing. two. I'm waiting for those two. Yeah, exactly. And then you told me so, so, so why, why you pull me over about seeing in the middle of bro? Why you could also put? Did you get the plate? Yeah, but did you get the plate? Yeah, but did you get the plate? I don't, I don't, I don't know what you can. I don't know what I can tell you. If you guys didn't get the plate of the, the vehicle that was used in whatever crime was used, then I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I, I have multiple other people that I can name out who has the same vehicle. I don't know mm. if they change the same camo, ca camouflage. Yeah, there's, there's people who have the same car. Yeah, you can. There's like there's like six other people who have the same car. I don't know if they I don't know if they've made a plan. There's a military like I do. I, I I can't name all of them. Because I don't know their names. I've seen them with the vehicles. I don't know their names. I don't keep track of their names. I know one person named Toes who also has this car. And he was the first person to buy this car. There's other people as well who have this car. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. If you guys didn't get to play, then I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Whoever's looking at the radio, I can't hear you. I said the green car. Apologies, the train was having difficulty with the video. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, we were watching. All right. Sure. 
all right so here's what's gonna happen um mm. so the reality here is uh the window tents are legal i'm not pushing yeah, I can go, the I can go change that. Uh, it, what, right but i'm you know i'm dealing with with what's in front of me now so yeah. the way this is going to work is i'm going to be issuing the citation for the improper window tent it's going to be a 138 dollar citation um mm -hmm. and it is going to subject your vehicle to an impound the good news is we're not too far off so you can just pick it up Wait, but i can just go change I've, like i said to the other officer i've been pulled multiple times in this vehicle and not one mm -hmm. person has it, it explained to me about my, the window tent Okay, if they, so if we, they explained to the, about the window tint, I can I would have gone change it. It's not a problem for me to go change it right now. I this, this is while the first I, time I'm hearing about I, it. I I understand, and while I understand, doesn't really change the fact that it's currently illegal, right? So the good news is, is you'll have the ability to unimpound the vehicle, and then assist or not assist, but uh, then get it brought over to Mosley's to get the the tint reduced. And when I say reduced, I mean like lightened less dark yeah. he's disobeying right now sorry that makes sense I'll, I'll if you if you want to give this like uh, like the fine I'll, I'll pay for the no, fine i'll go tint it right now i just, just don't see why you gotta impound the car well because the improper window tint citation does subject it to tow you shoot him i didn't hmm. see nothing girl mm -hmm. it's gonna uh, so, no, no, uh, no disrespect or anything, but that's just kind of stupid, impounding a car because of window tent. Well, uh, unfortunately, you know, I'm... I hate to break it to you, but you, you can't break the... You can't break the law. Yeah, but I, as I've said also multiple times, like, I've been pulled multiple times over. Not mm -hmm. even this car, in my other car, and it's also dark window tent. And no one has explained to me that it's not allowed. Like okay, it's, so it's, it's, it, it's not our obligation to explain the penal code to you, right? Like, you can't expect an officer to sit there and explain to you and outline exactly what's illegal. Should you have any questions, you can always contact an attorney. Alternatively, you can always comb through the penal code yourself if you deem it appropriate. Um, but what I do need is I need your signature right here along the bottom. Uh, it's not an admission of guilt. It's just indicating you've received it. And if you'd like, you can attempt to appeal it anytime in the next 30 days if you deem it appropriate. Though, again, it's only a $138 citation. Have they been on the phone or radio at all? Not the I, mean, I kind of don't, I kind of don't want to, I don't want to sign it if you're going to impound it. Well, the, the signing has nothing to do with the impound. It's literally you saying, yes, I've received this. And again, if you want, you can attempt to appeal this in traffic court if you deem it appropriate. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to sign it. So you, you literally have to sign this. But I don't want to. Okay, I, I don't care what you want. You have to sign this. But I don't, I don't want to. Okay, the alternative is you get charged with disobeying and end up going to jail. It, I mean, this seems entirely unnecessary. I mean, it's not necessary to impound my vehicle. You could have just gave me a warning because I, I, I've told you this multiple times. Like, yep, and no I've one, told no you multiple told times. This, I can go change it, it right now. It doesn't matter that you haven't been told in the past. It's the law. It is what it is. It subjects your vehicle to tow. It's being towed. You're going to get billed in the amount of $138. I just need your signature right here along the bottom. Yeah, and then I got to pay the impound fee too. Uh, correct. That's between you and, and the impound lot. Am I, am I originally getting pulled over because of the window tint or am I originally getting pulled over because the car was using the crime or suspectedly used in the crime? Like I'm, I'm uh, originally suspected to have been used in a crime. Matched literally the exact same description. So was it used in the crime or was it not used in the crime? I'm also curious. It doesn't matter. I mean, it kind of does. Mm, nope, it doesn't. What's the status of your, you got pulled uh, over. Vehicle matched literally the exact uh, description. Car mm -hmm. So again... I need your signature here along the bottom. If I have to repeat myself again, I will inform you it is a lawful order. And every time I repeat myself after that, it'll be an additional account of disobeying a peace officer. So why is it a must for me to sign it? It's to prove that you saw it. We're also looking at it. It's literally just your acknowledgement of the citation. I mean, I'll sign it if you don't impound it. 
I'll, go ch I'll take the fine and I'll go change. I'll go change the window tint. No, no, that that's not what's happening. I am giving you a lawful order, and that you do need to sign this. This is not a negotiation. I've explained exactly what's happening. Thank you. All right. You have been fined in the amount of 1000 or not 1000 $138. Um, if you'd like, you can preemptively head over to the impound lot. We'll be brought over shortly, okay? I still kind of um, feel like it's stupid to impound it because of window tint. Well, you Just should not have had the, the window tint on the car. Real quick. Well, um, your officers need to do a better job of informing. Um, okay, sir, I think you need to sort of self-reflect and acknowledge that this is due to your actions, not ours. Uh, I've been pulled multiple times, and not one time in any case, as an officer has told me about my window tint. Irrelevant. I, I have two cars with the same window tint. Not one time has anybody informed me about it. It's still uh, irrelevant. Red, red or not read the penal code about the window tint. I have not read it, but regardless, isn't it your guys' jobs to like inform in that case if I'm getting pulled over? Is it, it is, is it not, not our job to spoon feed you legislation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Judas. So you, you'd rather just pull people over and impound the car for a window tint that apparently they don't know about. Ignorance, unfortunately, oh, no, is not please. a defense. It is not a defense. Um, though, again, if you'd like, you can preemptively head there. Um, I'll be putting in the tow request now, okay? Shouldn't take too long. We are... You might have fucked your car completely, my guy. Yeah, don't go. touch it again because it could go from simply getting it back from impound to having to wait to tsunami. Just leave it be for a second so it can actually sit on the truck. All right. Here we are. Let's see if it. Look, oops, excuse me. I don't know if it's got like a usable trunk. All right. Take a look what's, what's, here. What, what's considered black window tint? Like, uh, what's on your vehicle right there? I see it okay. right there. So what about that car? Your, 37, your 40. Uh, they're actually exempt within the penal code. Dispatch, show me clear oh. of that traffic obstruction. How, how is that office of safety? They um, the <laughs> least thing we can do is parking violation. Okay. Okay. I, I, I kind of feel like it's bullshit. Nah, it's fine. I'll, 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 I'll just be on... I don't know, you guys pull me over for something else and you guys decide to go for the window tent instead. Not a felony. We'll just do parking violation. Uh, dispatch 130. A tow request is being put in on the Patriot along Innocence Boulevard. Um, 130 will stay within the general area until it gets impounded. Uh, but most additional units, if you haven't already, you can clear out. All right, uh, tow is on the way. Um, legally, you cannot use the car uh, until it is impounded. Okay, I'm gonna wait here. Should only be a couple minutes, especially given we're right up the road. All right. That being said, you have a wonderful day. Okay, you stay safe. You stay safe. I'm just gonna wait until they impound the car. But that, that's fine. That's fine.
You want me to hang out? Uh, if you'd like, you don't have to. Yeah. Okay, you I'll, you know, I'll hang out for a little bit. All right, sounds good. He's going on the phone. Careful. Uh, you know what? I will be. I will be. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Me too. I will too. Keep your eyes peeled. How have you been, Squealer? I've been pretty good, honestly. That's good. I got, I, I got PPO uh, like a couple days ago. Mm-hmm. I did vote got on my... that. <gasps> Thank you. Well, uh, first day I bought this CVPI and it got thrown in the ocean. So since then, it's <laughs> only been up. You know, if you start at Bedrock, where else can you go but up? That's what I'm saying. Think about 256 it. 256 blocks down. Yeah, it was pretty rough. It was pretty rough. <laughs> it was a rough first day, but honestly, since then, fantastic. That's good to hear. I'm very happy. Very, very happy that's the case. Let's yeah. see. Where? Hmm. I'm trying to trying to keep my eyes peeled. That me too. So I'm scared a little. Not gonna lie to you. You so. should be always doing yeah. the duties of I our am. job. Gray car pulled into the clothing store. Okay. They were. I mean, not necessarily speeding, but you you just you never know nowadays. Oh, tow truck. Here we go. Hello. Hello. It's going to be the Patriot right here. The camo one. Oh, no, oh not a Bravo. Oh, no. He was probably you? flying on Great Ocean. Oh, <laughs> I think I might go set up a commercial vehicle inspection checkpoint. On I have been doing that recently. Have you? Oh, hell yeah. Yes. I got some cones. You let me know. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to be quite a minute, but I will. Oh. I looked at the new quota and, um, hello, uh, commercial vehicle. It's awesome. It is, but uh, there is. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll explain something to you in a moment. Okay. Once, once we sort out uh, this vehicle, you're good. We'll follow you. All the way to Brett Steve, by the way. So it's up to you if you want to follow. Actually, uh, if that's the case, we're good. We're good. You, you can bring it. There, there'll be no issue. There shouldn't be any issue. All right. Thank you. Okay, so let me pull off to your side. Uh, we're not following because it's going up to Grapeseed. Okay. However, um, with how the legislation is currently written, uh, it is not good, uh, truthfully. Um, oh. Specific to the wide load charge. Um, primarily because of how their system operates in comparison to how we see uh, the cargo manifest. Um, most importantly, that cargo manifest will only ever show a single type of cargo, despite the fact that their contracts at minimum will always have at least two, two selections of cargo. But here's the thing. They're random. They could have a type of cargo that is magazines. And then their next selection of cargo could be two options of magazines which oh. means that it pushes them over the limit because in a packer their minimum contract size is 500 kilograms in the packer those manifests show a thousand kilograms for any any contract right so the tricky part is that if somebody takes a 500 kilogram contract right they then have to pick up another one so let's say they start magazines and then they pick up one for ammo. They now have, if they were both at 500, you know, 500 kilograms, 
they have 500 of ammo 500 of magazines right that's fine yeah they then get prompted on their phone hey do you want uh, to pick up an additional delivery and they're thinking yeah we got a lot more space guess what it's two completely randomized things if they have an option that says magazines and it's over 500 kilograms they're now officially over wide load if they take one that says ammo same thing but what if those are the only two options available they're fucked and so when you see that their con or their manifest in the back says a thousand kilograms of ammo but you see 500 kilograms of magazines or furniture or whatever in the back um we shouldn't be citing them for the wide load charge because of how it all operates uh once we sort of learn the inner workings if there is any one specific type of cargo that's over a thousand kilograms they can be charged with a wide load okay okay i know it's confusing but no it makes sense it makes sense uh so well i'll just be vigilant i'll make sure i'm not doing anything i shouldn't and then you Good. know we just you know what we collect uh, we, i'm sure there's plenty of tickets to be handed out oh 100 percent anyway oh and by the way remember when i said it's 500 kilogram minimum that means that again the only time they it, like it would ever work is if they were to take two contracts of the same type and coincidentally they were both 500 kilograms because 500 and then 600 you're at 1100 that cargo manifest is going to say a thousand you know what i mean yeah yeah so it gets tricky Okay. either way okay. um i recommend speaking with the uh the truck drivers out there because I, I you know i've had wonderful conversations with them which allowed me to understand uh sort of the system they're dealing with it's sort of a lot of unknowns and a lot of people don't even realize right okay okay well the, it, we could use it as a teachable moment too it doesn't oh, yeah. have to be a ticket every time but three quota points i mean that's that's pretty good i know i could have gotten so many but i've just oh. been informing people which is so nice and so kind of you and i will probably try to do the same thing but i just don't know if i can trust myself well uh, oh wait scout oh shipment of liveries in the car car Ooh, i need to get a scout let me see let me take a look oh that was on the wrong side of the road, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, three quota points. Oh, it is three. <laughs> oh. It's a hefty one. Oh, hefty no. you know one. what? Let's look for people that have over a thousand kilograms of any one specific type. One thirty ten eight. Eight to three safe traffic. Everyone stops here. There's no stop sign. <laughs> Dispatch 130, 1038 southbound, lower power. Uh, Naris Cross Integrity Way with a black in color Group 6 security truck. Engine off, windows down, please. Go. Hello. Hello, Mr. Officer. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I'm Officer Rhodes, Los Santos Police Department. How are you? I'm good. Not too bad. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Nice to meet you. Um, do you have any ideas to why I pulled you over? Mm. What's the status of that idiot? I can't imagine it was speeding. Uh, correct. It was okay. not speeding. Okay. It was not. It was because you made that left-hand turn without coming to a complete stop. Uh, the light was red. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I apologize for that. Yeah. You know, things happen. Uh, it's all right. 
Um, though I do need to see some identification from you, and I will need oh, you no to take off the helmet so I'm able to properly identify you. Here we go. Great arm, Braden Kings, 8543. Here we go. There we are. And who do we have there in the passenger seat? It says 160. Uh, Show me 10 8 after getting no dipped way. by a tire. Just, tire, just a moment. Radio is quite loud. Uh, can you repeat that? Uh, Leonardo Gambino. Leonardo Gambino. Okay. Yeah. All right, Mr. Gambino, Mr. Kings. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, outside of this specific instance, you, you haven't been running reds today, right? No, no I actually, the, this is like a, my first job for the day. I first, just woke oh, up. Oh, you just started? Yeah. Yeah, ah, I just started. Okay, fair enough. So, fair enough. so fortunately, nothing, no, no jumping of uh, traffic lights. That's good. <laughs> that's good. How long have you been doing Group 6? Oh, I've been doing G6 for about three months, I think. Three months? Three, you like months. it? Yeah, I love it. That's good to and, hear. And I ain't leaving. No, I'm on the right side of the law. That is good. Sorry, I'm just a little concerned about this red vehicle that decided to hit the massive pillar that oh. did not move. Um, it looks like they've stopped, so we're probably good. Keep my, I'll keep them in my peripheral vision, though. You just never know. Um, when, when you let them wait too long, they become very impatient. Yeah, you're not wrong. Um, Mr. Kings, when was the last time you got pulled over? Uh, I think it was sometime last week. It's been okay. All right. Were, were you given a warning or were you given a citation? A warning. Got it. Okay. Yeah. But I think it was because of the uh, uh, a left turn. A left turn as well, I think. If okay. I can remember correctly. All right. Uh, well, give me a moment. I'm going to go back there, run your information. I'll be back with you shortly, okay? Okay. No problem. All right. Just a moment. So many MDT announcements marked on red. Um, I'm gonna be real. There, there are just too many. I come on duty and there's a, a wall of red. I just go, no. <laughs> no. I've already read this, this, this. <laughs> didn't read this. I've already read this and I didn't read that, but I just did. I just haven't clicked it. Premier Carbon RS and Elegy. Warning issued. All right. Um, let's give him a failure to stop. Although he's been very compliant, he got a warning in the past week. Go for 130. Uh, are you good to at the moment? 10-9. Are you good to receive a phone call? Uh, negative. I'm conducting a 38. Copy that. Call me whenever your 38 is complete. Hey, firm. I may need a disregard. Always sus of a U turn in car. Failure to stop. Hmm. <clears throat> Right. Uh, so, Mr. Kings, uh, yep. good news and bad news. Uh, good news what? is this isn't severe. Um, yeah. And I, you know, it was documented that you had a warning uh, roughly about yes. a week ago. Um, okay. 
Bad news. You are getting a citation. But good news. Yeah, I, I know this is a bit of a roller coaster here. Good news is that it's it's very minor in the grand scheme of things. It's going to be a single point yeah, yeah. on your license and a hundred and eighty-eight dollar fine okay. for failure to stop okay. at that red light. Okay. Um, that sounds good. Considering your record, I mean, it's relatively small in the grand scheme of things, and you're allowed yeah. up to nineteen points. Once you hit twenty, your license is suspended. But uh, you're you're seemingly doing well, so that's probably not yeah. too much of a worry in the grand scheme of things. Of course not. Yeah. All right. Mr. Kings, I am going to need Sounds your signature good. right here along the bottom. It's not an admission of guilt. It's just you indicating that you've received it. Your acknowledgement of you receiving it, essentially. Um, yep. Once you sign that, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and get you billed, and then we can be on our way. Here we go. Perfect. There we are. You have been billed the amount of $188. Um, beyond that, do either of y'all have any comments, questions, or concerns? No, not at all. All right. If that's the case... Good to go. That's the case. Y'all are going to be free to go once I'm back in my vehicle and the emergency lights are off, okay? You stay okay, safe out there. Thanks, Have a wonderful man. day. You too, Bye -bye. Dispatch 130, latest 38, code 4. Penny. Hey, Rhodes. Hello, what's up? Um, I just wanted to make you aware unless you didn't see my ding dong. There's currently a PPO vote up for Mervyn Nilapoli. If you've seen them on duty and want to put your input or a vote in there, I just want to make sure you're aware of it. So I've only seen him once and he was passenger in the vehicle mm -hmm. and not doing comms. Okay. So I'm going to hold for now until I see him again. Um, I don't suspect that there's going to be any issues, but it's hard to evaluate when like if he was driving i would understand i think it was yeah. pins doing comms but he was the passenger which i think he was i could be wrong uh i would much have preferred him to do comms but i didn't want to sort of uh i didn't want to intrude on the fto session because mm -hmm. i wasn't the fto and i didn't know if this was something discussed amongst them or if it was like a point of you know contention in which uh you know, Merv wanted to do something first, you okay. know, uh, again, it, hard for me to determine because I wasn't the FTO. Um, but if I see him on duty again and everything goes well, I mean, it's, it's a yes. I don't have anything bad to say necessarily. Okay. I'm sort of just lacking I, info given that. No, that's fine. That, that's fine. Just honestly, if you recognize that you don't have the info, I think we've been having people respond with like a fucking equal sign instead of a plus or a minus vote. Just so you know what, I'm a put not applicable. Out. Yeah. Right, I'll do. I'll do that now. I mean, because if you're out of the voting, pl it just I don't know if we can. Get it makes it clear up. versus like a no response. Yeah. Okay. I'll exactly. uh, I'll I'll take care of that now. Thank you. I appreciate that. Also, no have problem. you seen Matt Martin out at all? And what are uh, your opinions of them? So, mm, I've run into Matt once. Okay. Um. The only issue I ran into was that there was a pursuit. The individual was running on foot. An SUV came to pick him up. Um, I was the mobile unit that was pursuing the SUV. They mm -hmm. reversed. I made a U-turn, and he stood right behind my car for, like, five seconds. And when I say five seconds, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but he was practically at my trunk, and I couldn't reverse my car without hitting him. Uh, to Just the like point that where awareness I, kind of it, thing. Correct. To the point where I had to get on yeah. radio and say, "Whoever's behind my car, I need you to move." Um, yeah. Because I, I it, it was either the time, clear the, uh, knock him over, door, which I wasn't going to do, um, and the people were going to get away. I mean, I would prefer okay, that they get away so and, then, instead of an officer getting run over. Green, but uh, I literally just needed uh, him to move. There was no reason to sit still for five seconds, um, me blocking me from pursuing. Yeah, uh, it, it literally just was uh, sort of environmental or spatial awareness. Um, beyond that, uh, I've had no issues. Comms were seemingly solid. Um, yeah, I, I would I would be content with voting him because I've heard okay. comms, I've seen pursuits and whatnot. Oh. <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Are you good? Um, I am good. I'm okay. I'm just with Penn. Sorry. Oh, okay. Um, um I. I appreciate that. I was thinking, and that's why I asked, of 
Even though he's only gonna, I think on one or two shifts, I feel like, listen, I think we've all been very much so in the understanding that our standards is going to drop somewhat, but we will train to uphold it later down the road, right? Like that's like we don't have another thing. choice. Yeah, we we don't. So I think it's useless, especially if in like, I feel like he he probably has some flaws, but I think he could be working through those flaws while being on duty without stuck i mean the ppo queue. phase is intended to be like a it is hey you're becoming that, right you're, you know hey you're becoming your own officer you're gonna figure out how you're gonna deal with these situations on your own time mm -hmm. um as long as we can verify that they have a general understanding of everything um exactly and, and I it's think not gonna be flawless but it, five, yeah you know it, it is what it is yeah farm, yeah um, no i'm content with that that's why I, I think I'm going to throw up a PPO vote for Matt Martin as well. Um, he's currently in the queue, and I thought if we got enough votes, we might as well just bring him in, and he could get promoted if he had enough responses, honestly. And then Morgan I, will get promoted yeah, I'll, whenever I'll he throw my vote in. Next. As soon as I'm done yeah. refueling my car, I will get my not applicable for Merv and uh, my thumbs up for Martin. Okay. Thank you. I'll throw it up now then. Perfect. Sounds good. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Fuck. I didn't think y'all would remember. <laughs> Damn it. I really was about to try to hold y'all up, okay? It was gonna happen. Dispatch 857-1038, northbound Alta Street with a tow truck. 111 en route. Um... Uh, this is already been handled, but I'm out definitely on, on board with this. Uh, it's like a roller, currently North Bongration Highway, parallel to the Lumberyard. We'll be requesting for tour for this vehicle. Uh, let me take my medication real quick before I forget. I think you can tell us you give up and then try to hold this up. <laughs> Maybe it almost worked. Not really. We used to do it every time. One eleven to three thirty eight North Ben Lazo. One thirty attaching. Uh, what's the nearest cross? This blue cheese. A from. Are you doubled up or is that an additional unit behind you? I am the additional unit. A firm, 130 is going to break. Dispatch 855, clear on the abandoned vehicle GOH in route to the latest shots fired Cassidy Trail. Okay, chat, I'm going to sit in a spa until we get somebody. Additional 43 We're getting a commercial negligent driving charge okay gonna be my first one ever but we're gonna get them up based upon going off road all right y'all ready for this it's the perfect setup hey duncan how are you hello underdog what you mean underdog why am i the underdog that's what you referred to yourself i want to i want to have a follow-up conversation to you one we had months ago because it's time okay uh, you have Mr. Mr. PD. What was that? Are you at Mr. PD? I hate you. 
What are we at Mission Road Police Department? I, I know exactly what you said, but I hate you. No, I'm not. I'm currently uh, up by the water treatment plant waiting to get my first uh, negligent commercial driving citation. Wait, you're getting it or are you giving one? Oh, no, I'm going to be giving it soon. Once I see somebody off-road on this off-road path towards like Harmony. Oh, deliveries are in. They are. Yes, an announcement's out. Oh. How about you? You sort that out and then you make your way over here, okay? Can you do me a favor? Can you your state ID? Uh, 1303. All right, I'll make my way over there, but go ahead and check your shared reports when you have a second. And if you have any questions, I'm willing to answer them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Okay, so bye. I Duncan Fenwell from Kentucky, or Kentucky. I'm running for the sheriff of the Lane County. Here are my credentials. Right now, assistant to the thing. assistant chief of police slash chief. I have a working relationship with the chiefs of the LSPD and have worked closely with them in the initial building uh, of the Barrick and Ruby era LSPD. I would continue to work with these two while expanding law enforcement to the northern region of San Andreas. City Council relations. I have a working relation with the current um, mayor's office. And regardless of, of if the mayor remains next term, I will continue to have an open line of communication with the leadership of San Andreas. No Vision for the Blaine County. Procedures. In order to be consistent, standard operating procedures... I, I can barely fucking the, see. Uh, you know what? This is this is easier. This is easier. Um. Okay. Uh, remain one to one with the LSPD. Have a united San Andreas law enforcement approach to the entire island. Uh, the team bring in passionate deputies whose priority will be patrolling Blaine County and assisting LSPD with day to day operations. Drugs clean up the streets of Polito, Grapeseed, and Sandy Shores from all moonshine and drug-related crimes. Proactive policing. Keep the town of Polito. Duncan. Why do we go from here? Capital. Dispatch 855. Couldn't find any casings around the shots fired Cassidy. Is it because, is it because it's... Copy that. No, because com community polit... I'm so confused. Proactive policing. Policing, lowercase. Keep, lowercase. Dogtown, capital, capital. Ca you hear someone? No. Anyways, let's see. I secure the outside of Dogtown with Sandy Shores to ensure that Bobby and Carmine are unable to unleash whatever the hell's going on within Dogtown outside of the fences. Community policing, BCSO deputies will do whatever they can to ensure residents of Sandy Shores, Grapeseed, and Polito Bay are safe and working with law enforcement. Teamwork, the core principles of the BCSO will be for each other. It takes all of us. Uh, it's important to back each other up uh, and be there for one another. We'll assist each other, as well as the LSPD down south. All backup requests when needed. Uh, if I'm able to appoint my own undersheriff, it'll be someone who is equal to me in decision making. Uh, and another at this uh, or another seat at the table. The decision will be made alone. I will value uh, or input higher than. <laughs> Is the decision already been made? No decision will be made alone, and I will value her input higher than my own. She will bring leadership experience and a long legacy of experience to the table. To ensure BCSO high command is in good hands. Is this? Is this? <laughs> Wait. She will bring leadership experience and a long legacy of experience to the table. Okay, that's interesting. Um, Blaine County Mountain Rangers. Hunting regulations have gone widely unchecked as units have been not, or not able to leave the city uh, to patrol up north. Ashton team wildlife enthusiasts within the BCSO will be able to be certified a mountain patrol and take a new title of mountain rangers and then assistant to the undersheriff slash sheriff. Part of my day one plan would be the immediate transfer of senior deputy Cletus Cornwood who will take on the role as assistant to the undersheriff slash sheriff. He'll be the assistant to the to be determined undersheriff and sheriff Fenwell, uh, much in the same capacity that myself was given uh, with the assistant to the chiefs. <laughs> Also, what is this? Why do I have access to this? 
I don't know what this is. No one takes the off-road path. How else do we get someone? Let's see. I heard a truck drive by. Charges. Any person who operates a tier two or three commercial vehicle, Fresh grime, group six, etc., off road or in an otherwise negligent fashion, supplies to tow and sanitation trucks. Charges and an enhancement. As such, it may Maybe and should be applied in addition to any other negligent or reckless driving yeah, charges. It hurts. It hurts. Ooh. Look at how good this spot is. Uh, I can barely and see and out. Um, restaurant, standby. I give it one minute. Dispatch 873 is going to be Kenny. Got numerous individuals radioing, and I think they made my location. Dispatch 857 be advised. Got an individual in a two door black vehicle pulling up to me, yelling at me about as to what I'm doing in their area. Oh! They've just ran me, they're trying to actively ran me, northbound, south of the drive. I think 77. 855. Make sure you get a plate of that vehicle. 10 4 standby, they're going towards Lindsay Circus, crossing uh, the Little Soul Servo. They'll be taking a left, northbound Calais, standby. No, I think a, a car going, car going towards Del Perro. Stand by. 130 is on Del Perro. Let me know west or east. Uh, I'm gonna check west, but they more than likely went east. All they, I um, see it east, east on Del Perro, headed towards Integrity Way. One, this is someone lower power. I have that vehicle eastbound. Got a lot of distance on me, unfortunately. I may be able to see if it takes San Andreas. Stand by. Uh, no visual. I'll take the exit here, Rose, and then you can check. A firm. A five seven two units. Be advised, I was unable, I was uh, unsuccessful in getting a play for that vehicle. Copy. What, what make and model was it? I literally just saw like a hair of it pass by. Uh, the vehicle I saw was a uh, whatever excess Oracle Sentinel, whatever it was. Sentinel. Yeah, it resembles like the it resembles the Mercedes license plate. I believe I did oh, get a reading from a vehicle that's flagged at sixty. It's gonna be six nine nine, registered to a Claudia Johnson. I see the vehicle in question. A firm, I would have caught up by now. It's definitely not on the Miriam turned overpass. I maintained uh, I, 170 that whole way and I got nothing. I took Olympic, I didn't say anything, so it either went Palomino or. I could have been the only. It could have went Palomino or San Andreas. Pranky, did the individual yelling at you have an accent? Uh, more, more or less an Americanized accent. Nothing distinct, unfortunately. A firm, and where were you originally? I was on the uh, cross of uh, South Rockford Drive in Palomino. I was pulled over looking at a 34, and they pulled up in front of me shouting for me to leave their block as this is their block. A firm, be advised, I have a gauntlet, I believe, speeding northbound Calais, red in color. It was coming from that general area. I'm going to pull it over. Dispatch 130, 1038 eastbound, Innocence Boulevard with the red in color two door gauntlet. Unsure on occupants. Engine off, windows down, please. A fault. If I drive past, I will park at the rental spot, see if I can spot the vehicle coming back yeah. to the scene. Hello. 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 Hello.
Uh, what happened? Uh, what? Uh, what? <laughs> okay. Uh, break. EMS from PD. Oh, I can't get it 52 on, on, on Adams Apple Boulevard, Nearest the, Cross the, the Calais. There's an injured here, individual in the passenger seat of this car. Uh, well, if if you need to be driving fast, uh, we we should be calling EMS. You can't be breaking so, so, the rules of the road. Can you tell me how 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 fast did you clock me in that? Uh, uh, no, not right now. We're gonna focus on your friend here. All right. The hospital is just down the road. I understand it's just down the road. Okay, but if you're speeding. In order to justify, me you clocked me that. Uh, me sir, that you were over 55. Dispatch 855 Well, that, it was an emergency, see? Right, and if it's an emergency, then emergency medical services should be here. Uh, they take too long, man. Uh, did you make an attempt to call 911? Uh, I was speeding to the hospital to save his life, but you're currently stopping me from doing. Uh, no, EMS is actually on the way. He would have been in the hospital right now. Uh, if I okay, died, but but again, we we can't have you be speeding and potentially He's causing crying. an accident. Uh, he is crying. Um, okay. Uh, uh, I'm gonna just, blame you about roads if I die. Uh, you're gonna do what? I'll blame you if I die. Uh, I don't think you'll be blaming anybody if you die. Listen, EMS is on the way. Uh, What's going on here, officer? Well, sir, I, again, we're, we're gonna we're gonna hold on the traffic stop for now. We're 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 gonna focus on your friend here. Um, but what happened to him? Uh, I believe it might have been on roads, in which case it was westbound, eastbound, out of you don't. Seems to be an already okay. Yeah, okay. I think I fell. Yeah, we have to. Yeah. Sure. It was clearly not well, so I had to run. No, to there was an additional end. Okay. Right. Out by, uh, uh, it's gonna be the All intersection right. Apologies. of Boulevard and Popular. Listen, we're sorry. Oh, we're good. sorry for not Copy. calling EMS, but it was it was instant. Copy. That's the one. Yeah. Thank you. Seventy-six. Okay, but it, so you Coming have to understand that although you can bring your friend over, <laughs> when EMS arrives, they can immediately begin, you know, uh, preventing your friend from bleeding out. You know, get Special depending on the circumstances. All right, EMS. That's EMS right there. You hear that siren? Here we are. It's gonna be this red car, EMS. Uh, they're the passenger in it. Right, would you be okay if I take your friend oh, out of the vehicle? Going, 27 unread, 52 request for a process again. Damn. Uh, it, it, an ambulance just passed by. Uh, Can I do some ambulance? Alright, yeah. It's the, the traffic stop with the red vehicle. Alright, they're right there. Here we are. Alright, would you be okay if I take your friend out? So are we detained at this moment? What kind of dumbass question is that? Did I not pull you over? Uh, let me get medical, bro. Uh, 23 traffic stop in between. Uh, yes, to answer your question, you are detained. Okay, given your friend needs medical treatment, I will be pulling him out of the car, okay? Go ahead. Here we are. All right. Here you are. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, that was not just normal a problem. Traffic. Let me take a look here. Ready? Ooh, what happened with this? Um, what happened with you? Oh, All right, sir. I don't remember. I think I fell on well, I'm Officer Rhodes, Los Santos Police Department. Reason for the stop today is you were speeding. Radio check. Uh, is it? You know. Let's see. Okay. Let's see what a fair amount of bleeding um, here. I would. Police, I would so normally ask. So you know bleeding. what the reason is, but I do understand, uh, given the circumstances. Did you say a police boat? Oh. Um. Yeah. Do you have some it identification with you? Yes, sir. Let me go ahead and see that. It's gonna feel tight, but it's gonna stop you from bleeding out. Here we are. All right, Mr. Junior, have you ever been pulled over before? Uh, once before, yes. Once, and when was that? It was a long time ago, sir. Long time ago? But how long is a long time ago? Months. I'm sorry, what was that? It could be a month, it could be two months. But do you not know, or are you, you just like I'm not, being wish-washy sure intentionally? Thing, no, okay. It's been a long time. Okay, it's not, all right. It's not an, 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 like a normal occurrence for me, you know? Got this it. Is one okay. Time. Back to the hospital. Okay. Is this your vehicle? It is my friend's vehicle. Your friend's? Who's your friend? The guy is laying on the floor. 
Guy on the floor. Oh. Okay, what's his name? He's Tic Tac. Tic Tac? Yeah. Okay, well, this ain't registered to Tic Tac. He's, he's, he's all yours. He's all yours. Tommy. So uh, I call him Tic Tac. His name is Tommy. Tommy, okay. All right. Well, do me a favor. Sit tight, and I'll be with you shortly, okay? Hey. It's 27, 76 CMC, one times 47. D2 from A57, did you need an additional down to that, uh, that boat, that possible solid boat? One, two, two from eight five seven. Six six from eight five seven. Stand by. Four. So, uh, Mr. Let me take a look here. Mr. Yes, Junior. Um, so, uh, I am going to be issuing you a citation today uh, for the speeding. Okay. It is going to be a $375 citation and a point on your license. I believe you currently have six, so it, it should be at seven uh, upon the conclusion of this traffic stop. Okay. All right. Um, let me see here. Um, so I am going to need your signature right here along the bottom. It's not an admission of guilt. It's just your acknowledgement of receiving the citation. Uh, and if you deem it appropriate, you can attempt to appeal this any time in the next 30 days. Okay. Okay. All right. So just go ahead and sign there. Right along the bottom. Perfect. Just a moment. Perfect. And uh, beyond that, do you have any comments, questions, or concerns? No, I would like to apologize for speeding today, sir. Oh, well, you know, I'm I'm glad. I need you to understand that if there's an emergency situation, uh, you should be calling uh, us or EMS over uh, to address it first um, because there could be other factors at play, all right? Not only that, mm -hmm. but EMS can immediately be providing medical attention versus, uh, let's say, somebody bleeding out um, you know, on the entirety of the ride on the way to the hospital. And the reality is if they die before they get there, uh, everything was for nothing. I understand. Right. Uh, and Mr. Junior, do you know what the speed limit is? 55. 55. Okay. All right. I'm just making Excuse sure you're aware. Um, beyond that, do you have any comments, questions, or concerns? No, I think that's all. All right, if that's the case, you're going to be free to go on some back of my vehicle. My emergency lights are off, okay? Thank you so much. Stay safe. You have a good day. You as well. <laughs> Dispatch 130, this 38, code 4, 10 8. We're all the same traffic. Dispatch 857-106, Bay City Bank, on your paycheck. Dispatch 130-1038 eastbound at Adams Apple Boulevard with the same red and colored two-door sports vehicle. Occupied one. 125. What's going on now? Pull it over. Engine off, please. What'd they do? <laughs> the whole squad's here. Excuse me. Here we are. Dispatch eight five seven ten eight. Hello, sir. It's pretty. Hi. I, I mean, I'm, I'm Officer Rhodes, Dallas PD. 
to get the yes. formality out of the way. How are you going to speed off and do over the speed limit immediately after leaving the traffic stop where you I, just I, got I, a speeding I, I citation? Didn't, uh... You did. Okay, how fast did I go? Uh, over 60. That's not true, sir. Uh, that, it is true. Is that 